He's a natural handshaker and backslapper, evidenced on Inauguration Day. That common touch, combined with decades of experience in the Senate, an impressive portfolio as vice president, and some recent subtle political moves, have analysts talking about a potential Joe Biden presidential run in 2016. He is reaching out. He's keeping in contact with key Democrats in states such as Iowa, South Carolina, and New Hampshire. That is critical because if he does decide to run in 2016, that's the support he is going to need. He's also about to head to China, Japan, and South Korea for key strategic talks. What Biden's not doing? Fundraising. That would be poor political form this early in President Obama's second term and before the midterm elections. Analysts say there are two other things Biden hasn't done that may help him. He was sidelined by Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid during stalemated talks over the government shutdown and debt ceiling and he was almost nowhere to be seen during the disastrous Obamacare rollout. He can look back at the Obama administration and point to the initiatives that he's been involved in, stimulus, foreign policy, things that actually went pretty well. And I think he can point to a record of accomplishment. Being involved in the Affordable Care Act rollout would be a, a blot on that record. It would taint that record of accomplishment. But Joe Biden's awkward public moments and speaking gaffes, like this one on C-SPAN, are inescapable. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts, unless you have a slight Indian accent. So for like, I'm not joking. Then there's the most obvious impediment to a successful bid from Joe Biden, or just about any other Democrat, a potential Hillary Clinton run. She's 51 points ahead of Biden, who's in second place, in the latest CNN ORC poll of potential candidates. Is the only way he can win in 2016 if she doesn't run? Is that the only way he can win? Look, at this moment in time, if Hillary Clinton runs, nobody can win. She is clearly the front runner. She will be the Democratic presidential nominee. And from the Obama camp, there seems to be some ambivalence over Joe Biden. He is said to have built good relations with the president and some of his key advisors. But one analyst says the Obama team is still seething from last year's moment when Biden overstepped on gay marriage, voicing support for it before the administration was ready to make an announcement. Jim? Yeah, long memories in Washington. What about age, Brian? Is that considered a disqualifying factor for Biden? You know, it could be. I asked about all of that. He's going to be 74 years old on Inauguration Day 2017. If he is being sworn in as president, Jim, he'll be the oldest person ever to take office in a first term. But many analysts now say he's in good enough health and the age is no longer as big a factor as it was back in the day. Also, you have to remember, Hillary Clinton is going to be 69 years old on that day. She's about, that would be about the same age Ronald Reagan was when he took office. That's right, and he served two terms after that. Right. Thanks very much to Brian.